Okay, everyone, we are on um, for this assignment. We're going to go ahead and we are going to, from our screens, draw this um, image with grayscale markers um, and get those facial proportions right. So notice that this is a profile picture. And what I want you to do with this experimentation is kind of pay attention to <clears throat> the angles of the face, right? And the different shapes, because this is gonna inform your strokes um, when you're painting and any kind of drawing, you should be thinking in angles. So I'm gonna start first by blocking things in and noticing all of the angles and making sure I have enough space. So I'm moving around the page, very light with light lines. I'm paying attention to the edges, trying not to get lost so much in curves. Done all the way around. Right, so I have enough space. Um, like we saw in our extra credit, the head is halfway, right? And then I'm paying attention to all of these interesting angles on the nose. It's not just a bridge of the nose, but it kind of goes down. And there's a curve. Right, and then I see there's a hook underneath and a curve up. side and then down and then up okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a dark curve right there all right okay getting kind of lost in the nose here I'm gonna kind of go up around and then I have the eye notice how noticing how dark the value is behind the eye Getting all of these square shapes in. Kind of thinking, okay, how can I make the, my faces look more 3D? Where am I missing the values? And oh my gosh, look at this dark shadow. Right. And then the lip kind of comes in. There's kind of like these, this widow's peak. making adjustments and erasing if you need to, right? Noticing that maybe this comes out a little bit more. Maybe I want to, with an ellipses, get that circle in. Circle using grayscale markers. circle right here darkening the value almost done okay notice how there's a interesting shadow underneath kind of like missing part of the cheek so let's get that in and maybe this kind of comes out further and this is farther in okay noticing the angles cheekbone coming in right and this nose is like hard right so it comes up down and then that curve kind of goes up mm. yeah this is tricky this is like a triangle here 
So it's all about breaking it down into shapes. And there are a lot of interesting shapes in here. This is my tricky area. Right, and then you got more angles down here. Notice how the shadows of the nose kind of blend into some really dark shadows underneath the eyes. And you got all this light that hits the eyelid. Up. Okay, how am I doing? Almost done. Let me zoom out like kind of like whole picture. like a zigzag coming out. So yeah, these are like the eye bags, right? Our eyes do sink in, even though we try to cover it up. Okay, let me finish this up so I can get those value shapes in. All right, so we're trying to make this whole thing look 3D. This kind of comes up. This bends down and in. So what we're learning is that, like we need to sometimes break down the face into black and whites to kind of understand the whole thing. This face comes out and then it connects there. And to understand how to make it 3D, this corner kind of goes up like that. I still haven't brought my eraser home to do these videos. I feel like the skull comes up more. So I'm making these adjustments. Skulls up, or the forehead's a very big thing. Oh, look, and then, so I got this piece coming up here. This is really big for me, that big forehead. Oh, he's correcting with the angles. Yeah, I need more space for the head. We often underestimate the size of the head. Okay. I feel, now that I think about it, this, this would be a really great black and white painting to do with gouache. Kind of understanding forms and working with gouache. You know? Okay, and then look, we only see one ear, and the ear is catching the light. So where's the light coming from? From the front. Okay, notice how where the ear intersects. Like you always have to ask yourself where does it intersect? It kind of intersects right there. Dun dun. think this will help your portraits because this informs the direction of the strokes. Don't forget the neck creates this big shadow. And this is super dark. It's interesting how it's kind of blurry down at the bottom, these shapes. Okay, that was eight minutes of just sketching that. Right, so I think you guys should do this before class, personally, because I could see you getting tripped up on this. So, um, I have all sorts of grays, right? So what should I do? How should I approach this? I'm looking at all my numbers, maybe get a mid-tone, right? Here's my, here's my darkest one. I got black, and then a warm gray eight, Warm gray nine, those seem to be my darkest. Warm gray eight, right? So I'm gonna take my darkest values and I'm put them to the side. And let's see, where are my mid-tones? Just gonna pull the thing out. Right, you wanna have your darks, mediums, and lights kind of organized. Oh, dropped it. Okay, so this is kind of a medium. Okay, these are lights. Okay, so I just kind of 
<laughs> that's my version of organization. I love it. But I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's see. How about this cool gray, cool gray three for a mid-tone. So it's going to be kind of have a blue tint. And I'm just going to bring down the background right away. Right, so I have something to work from. And the objective is to use grayscale, right, to create form because not everyone has form going on. So I'm just going to paint the background, bring down the background so I know where to work from. Because if you have a strong mid-tone in the back, that's good. This is kind of like what we do when we tone a canvas, right? So we have a strong reference. Bring down the background, shade the side. breath and breathe. Just breathe. And breathe. Just breathe. Let me zoom out and see what's happening. I'll kind of see like where I'm working from. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't like all the splotchiness. Come on, art marker, shuttle art. Why you gotta be so splotchy? But I could clean that up in Procreate, I suppose. Okay. So now I'm gonna get like a middle gray. Should I get the one or the two? I'm experimenting with what works. Um, look at this. Okay, this warm gray, I don't see any white in this. So I'm gonna take my lightest gray and kind of do those light values. And notice how I'm going to paint my strokes in the direction of the form. Here's a value change I missed. So when painting the face, you should always break down the face in value shapes. Splotchiness, come on markers. Get it together. Okay, so that was 0 0.5. Okay, is this too dark? No. I think that's fine. This is going to be sort of this medium gray. So I got the boundaries, but kind of thinking it's kind of going inward. So I'm going to bring the shapes down. And always like going back to my colors, cleaning up my boundaries. And then before I move on, I'm gonna ask myself, where else do I see this color? Mm -hmm. I see it right here on the top. Now this whole thing right here is more cool grays. Right? I don't want us to worry so much about warm versus cool for this. Okay, I see this shape kind of coming in to the side of the nose right there. Okay, and then it sort of is right here, but I feel like it's darker. Mm-hmm. And this color is kind of similar, but it's a little lighter. So I'm going to go from the warm gray to, yeah, that color looks the same. I don't know about that. Okay, so make sure you're pulling your strokes kind of away 
in the direction of the form. Okay, what else do I see this color? Mm -hmm. Right here. Always going away, <clears throat> the direction of the form away. Okay, I'm going to grab some of my darker values now. Warm gray 9 is pretty dark. Maybe warm gray 8. Okay. And I am going to bring down the values where I see some of those darker tones and see if things start to pop out. Sticking with those edges. Where else do I see that color? Right here a little. Right, value over color. Using the chisel tip up and around. Okay. And then this continues right here All right so i'm using the really thin part to kind of get this shadow in so much magic happening in the eyes and i see this darker shape yeah right here i'm pretty sure is it this dark it feels like it's this dark it feels a little too dark I'm going to kind of take a break. Maybe I'll do a lighter gray out. Right? But I'm not going to freak out because I also see this in the triangle underneath. So Paint Coach does this exercise, but he paints with gray marker. So noticing how the nose very much is made up by shadows. I feel like I see this dark value right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna drop in my darkest dark, my black, which would be in the eyes. I got the 120 right here. So make sure we have some black in class. See how important that full range of value is. Wow. All of a sudden it pops open. Leave your little speck for the white. And then voila. It's coming alive. I also see that dark right underneath the nose. Notice how it's not about like two holes. But the nostril is really comprised with shadows. And I see that dark right here. That black in the corner of the lip only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna 
put this dark dark right underneath the chin always thinking in angles <laughs> so now that I have these blacks, ooh, look up here, you see a bit of a shadow right there. I'm using the chisel, the thin tip. And I always put a little bit of dark over those eyelids. You want your darkest dark right there because that's the eyelashes. So... Okay, so let's get some other values in. This is a three. The cool grays are very, um, oh, look, this is the color of the background. I kind of see that in the ears. Right, and actually I see that up here. And then I kind of see this shadow right there. Oop. And I, I'm going to kind of make the decision to layer on top. Ooh, chiseling in. Chiseling in, this is like more of a triangle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is darker. This needs a darker value right there. So seeing how some of the background color can appear. I don't feel like that's right. I feel like this should be darker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a little lighter than the background. I make this darker. Let's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. try this green gray, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I like that mark that I put there. I can bring it down later. Ooh, and this marker is dead. Squinting my eyes, this should be darker. So let me find a darker value. Maybe blue gray seven. Yeah, that's better. So trying to adjust the angles. looking at the direction of the hair going up or the planes. So like this is an exercise about drawing planes. Hmm. Okay, we're 20 minutes in. How are you doing guys? I'm gonna bring down the background right here. I feel like I want the background color darker. And it should be very plain. I can blur that later in Procreate. Okay, how we doing? Oops, that was pretty dark. What is this? Worm gray nine. Yeah, so I'll put that right next to the blacks because it's almost black. Um, maybe that, put that shadow up here, right? And by putting that shadow in, the nose is going to seem rounder, right? And then it kind of comes up. Seeing how the dark shadows connect, right? This kind of comes a little bit more this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, how can I wrap? 
wrap this up. I need to put in some light values. All right, so here's my warm gray one. That's kind of, <clears throat> should be that color. Where's my 0 0.5? Warm gray, 0 0.5, hardly anything. So always painting in the direction of the shapes. There's kind of like a light color coming in. It's interesting, This the eyelids are lighter than the eyeball. Right? But notice how I'm changing the direction that I am shading. So dead. My mic, I'm filming. <coughs> God bless you, thank you. Okay, so this right here. Taking it home, so filling in the rest of it kind of like a medium value. But I want the nose to pop more. I almost feel like this should be a lighter value than nose. This should be a darker value. I'm starting to lose the form. So let me find a mid-tone. I got a blue-gray. Starting to lose the form. It's not 3D. Ah, uh, that feels better to me. I gotta bring down some of these values because the form is getting lost. Maybe it's right here. Like this should be darker. So it's all about adjusting. Always. That isn't dark enough. Maybe cool grays are, are going to be pretty dark. Right. And then I need a shadow underneath. Ooh, there they'll go. There are the lips. They're popping. So this is this one shadow underneath the lips. And we kind of have this light value coming down. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about this part right here, but I do need to not forget about the ear. I'm doing the ear too fast. Clean this up on the top. And this should be a darker shape than this. Mm, if this is blue gray, I should bring in this green gray five. That kind of works. everything so right we have a full range of value lights mediums and darks here right so make sure you can identify your values before you do this okay this is interesting I feel like this color is like this color so watch right I feel like I have like really mid-tones living inside of here and I need to add like dabs of these shapes to make it appear to be round. This is a 
five. So this is kind of like in the middle of the value scale. So adding my five values, pulling around. Where else do my fives go? I feel like I don't have this triangle shape right. It's kind of coming out as a square. I feel like there's this diamond shape I'm not getting in. Look. Yeah, that seems a little better. This is darker on this side. This has more of a shadow. Okay. No, this right here, this should be darker, this shape right here. So note to self that I will adjust it, but I'm looking, ooh, look how streaky this is getting. But where else can I get? Mm, these light values in. Streaky green, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, didn't even get this triangle shape. I'm really trying to show the difference. Oh, I missed a shape coming in from there. It's okay if you don't get them all. I feel like this is darker. Make an adjustment. Let me get my warm gray too. Add in, make another adjustment. Oh yeah, that looks good. That is working. Can I get some of this happening in here? I feel like I'm going to layer and get a darker shape under the eyes. Mm -hmm. This is darker right here. Right? Am I right, guys? Or am I overworking it? There's a darker shape right here. I'm definitely darken down here. Is it looking round? Yes? No? Maybe so? This is darker. This is darker. Layering in to get darker values. Showing, oh, I don't want to overwork it though. Making this shape clearer. Is it looking round? Mm. I feel like this one needs to be darker. Comparing, adjusting. Yeah. So this is cool gray six. almost black starting to pop some more I wonder if I can bring some of that cool gray six into there is that too dark all right guys I'm kind of losing steam now on this I'm somewhat satisfied but I'm not Bringing down some values. I feel like I have a bit of this cool gray in the background. That kind of like putting in this dark gray then has this kind of come forward. Mm-hmm. 
But I can't overdo it. Oop, that is too dark. I need a mid tone for the eyes. Maybe this blue gray. I gotta bring down the value of the eyes. Because the eyes, believe it or not, are darker right than the eyelids. We think they're not, but they are. Just kind of layering, adjusting. Dun, dun, dun. I hope you guys enjoyed this exercise. I know I did. A very interesting challenge. Zoom out so you could kind of see how my values are doing. I actually stand up and kind of see because I've been sitting down this whole time. Always make sure you stand up. Is it looking round? Are we seeing different value shapes? Kind of. I feel like the eyes could get rounder. Warm gray six. Kind of coming in. The eyes aren't popping up for me. finish this in class you should keep working on it right because like the form of the face is not going to go away the need to do extra studies is not going to go away like this is going to be a constant thing to kind of work on okay i should hardly have any white kind of cleaning up things Bringing down values. And I feel like I'm satisfied with this right now. Well, maybe blending that out a little. And yeah, you can work this into Procreate and kind of experiment. Right? But we're going to pause from this exercise for now. Kind of blend it out. I find these markers to be kind of like very streaky, which bothers me. Um, I just want to say that I have a hard time stopping working. And one thing that I tell my students is if you feel like the face isn't popping, bring down the background even more. Right? So we need to always be working on the background as we paint and we make judgments about the face. These shuttle markers, these are touch view and shuttle markers, so they're okay. Not the best, right? They, my students say they get dry very fast, but there's something, right? They're a good start. Yeah, I really recommend blending this out on Procreate and making it even more three-dimensional. Um, to me, it needs more work, right? 
if that eye is not popping yet. This to me feels darker. And I want to just keep, ooh, I like this. Okay. Right, kind of veering a little bit away from the picture. Kind of squinting, is it popping? Maybe bring this down some more. But I don't want to overuse a value, right? Oh yeah, I made a note to make this one darker. Maybe that's what's not working. Is this too dark? Maybe really dark in this one. Now the eyes feel like they're popping more. Oops. I nicked that. Smoothing that out. Don't overwork the values. But yeah, this this is a one by eight. Do I have a seven? Mm-hmm. One gray three. And blue gray seven. This is just so dark here. Right, that helps to make it look a little bit more rounder. Kids are like, I can't go that dark with my values. Yes, you can. But yeah, it was right here. So this plane needs to come down. Does that help? did it right there. All right, guys, I could do this forever. Oh, I should have left this light value in here. That's something that's wrong, right? So this, one of the reasons it's not popping is this should all be light right here, the neck. So you know what I can do to fix that? It's like trick the viewer by I don't know, making this black right here. Making it think that the neck is popping out. Does that work? Kind of put in a dark value right there. And then this kind of looks like the neck. this down now because this is so heavy I need to counterbalance that does that look a little better I think so yeah this background has just been bugging me Maybe I can add some expressive qualities in the background. The value, lights, mediums, and darks. Can you make a round face? Don't overwork it with the dark. I'm about to. Yeah, always. Kind of be ready to go back in. Add more layers. I love how I said I was gonna end this video a few minutes ago. And then I stood up and I saw all these things I could fix. I could work on this for I love this assignment. Alright guys. Twenty-three. 
Okay, guys, so this is just an exercise of how to use grayscale markers, lights, mediums, and darks. I hope this helped. 45-minute exercise. Huzzah!